don't put C slash C++ on your CV if you're applying for a C++ job. This is a bit of a personal plea. Up until quite recently, we've been on a bit of a recruitment drive for my team at work, and a frequent problem we came across was a lot of people submitting CVs for C++ jobs when they clearly didn't know anything about C++. They merely saw it as C with a few extra little bits added on. Writing a test program and using C out instead of printf and standard string instead of a char array does not a C++ programmer make. Idiomatic C++ does not look like C. As a result, these days when I see a CV that lists C slash C++ in the skills, I assume they know no C++ whatsoever. Now, obviously I could be doing the candidate a major disservice, but is it really me doing them the disservice or is it the CV? When I or anyone else are looking at a CV, we're trying to align the candidate's skills and experience with the tasks that we know have got lined up in the future. So we need to know what you can actually do. I've seen quite a lot of CVs recently that have told me the projects that kind of happened while somebody was working on them, but not what those engineers actually did. Now, conciseness is the key here. You don't have to state every single skill or everything you've ever did. A lot of that can be implied. Simply putting things like C++ 11, 14, 17, whatever, on your CV implies that we should be able to talk about certain things like, I don't know, move semantics. And by knowing move semantics, that implies you're likely to understand things such as copy constructors and assignment operators. Likewise, if you list experience in an object-oriented framework like Qt, or an object experience in an object-oriented programming language such as Java or C Sharp, at least I can assume that you're going to understand things such as classes or interfaces and inheritance. If you're willing to put C++ on your CV, you should be prepared to answer questions about object-oriented programming. You don't have to be a fan of object-oriented programming, but the likelihood is if you're applying for a C++ job, there's a fairly high chance that their code base is going to use it. You must be at least conversant in the topic. If you don't know what the decorated design pattern is, it's not a big deal. I can probably show you it in about 10 minutes and give you a quick example and no problem. But if you don't know what polymorphism is, then I'm thinking I can't really let this guy loose on my code base because he's not going to be able to understand half of what's going on in it. There's going to be a cost of upskilling this candidate and is that cost going to be counteracted by the other benefits that his other skills bring? For a standard C++ engineering role, I would expect at a minimum to be able to talk about these subjects. Object construction and initialization, destruction and copying, and the difference between a shallow copy and a deep copy. Const correctness, which doesn't really seem to be a thing in C programming, even though it's equally as applicable. The virtual keyword, virtual destructors, pure virtual functions, function overloading, operator overloading, exceptions and exception safety, streams, templates and a standard template library. I wouldn't necessarily expect any kind of fancy experience. I mean, I've, in my professional career, I've never written one uh, example of template metaprogramming on production code. Likewise, I wouldn't necessarily test your ability to implement standard set, for example. But I would at least expect you to be able to use some of the collection classes, such as vectors, lists, queues, etc. And I would expect you to be able to implement at least a simple templated function. Memory management, when to use the new operator, when to make objects on the stack, when to create static objects and any potential issues with respect to initialization order or thread safety, etc. Smart pointers and RAII, resource allocation is initialization. I've seen this done quite a bit by people who come from a Java and a C Sharp background, and I include myself in that as well, actually. But very rarely would you actually write code like that in C++. With a lot of these topics, there's not really any right answers. All we're looking for is that you can kind of justify your position on them. After all, you might have more insight than I do. By the way, if any of these C++ topics are of interest, I would personally recommend some of Scott Meyer's effective C++ books. Um, I would hold it up, but they're all with mine at work. <laughs> Exceptional C++ by Herb Sutter, that's a really good book. It's quite difficult to read, but there's a lot of really good insight in there, especially some funny topics like exception safety, etc. Obviously the Gang of Four design patterns book, although these days you wouldn't really implement anything in the way exactly the way they've outlined it in their examples. I think that was written back in 1994 and C++ has moved on a bit since then. Anyway, links in the description down below. Now, if you are a C programmer and you know a little bit of C++, that doesn't mean you can't apply for a C++ job. Just be upfront about it. 
The reality is barely any usable product is composed of purely C++ code. More than likely you'll be interacting with other technologies such as, I don't know, comms for example, or frameworks, databases, uh, hardware, all sorts. And your value and knowledge in those areas can outweigh and overcome the cost of uh, not necessarily knowing the C++ language that well. But if you're upfront about it, then your interviewers, if they decide they still want to go ahead, they're not going to waste their time asking you questions you can't answer. They're going to talk about the stuff that you're good at. This video is so far specific about C++, but this kind of is applicable for everything really. There's no shame in not knowing something. My whole channel's about stuff that I don't know how to do, but I'm trying it anyway. Everyone has their own skills and insight and view on the world and it's always of value. Everyone has something to offer and that's what we should be highlighting. I'd love to hear other people's thoughts on the subject, so if you agree or if you think I'm talking complete crap, stick a comment down below and I'll read it. Hopefully you found something of value in this video. I've got a few more rants like this in the pipeline along with some other projects I'm about to start working on quite soon. If any of that's of any interest, chuck us a like and a subscribe. I'd really appreciate that and I'll see you later. Cheers.